Hello guys, it's Luke Mead here and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a shop on your Squarespace website. Let's get straight into it. So here I am, here's my shop, it's currently hidden. I'm going to be showing you how to make a very similar shop very quickly on Squarespace. It's super easy. Here you can see my product and some extra details and you can see there's a heap of images attached to it. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that we're inside the pages area of WordPress, of Squarespace I mean. And we're going to hit the plus and we're going to go down and find the store this is where we're going to sell our products so we've got a few options here we can create a new store or we can create a new category we want to create a new store in this case and we can select our design we can have a simple design over here which is going to go and show our products straight away or we can have a more complex design here where we've got some content above the products this depends if you've got lots of products to list or you've just got one or two main products. In this case, let's just do a simple store because that's what we're doing. So you can see it appears over here straight away. Now, if we want to hide this from our users, we can do that later and I'll show you how. So you can see straight away, Squarespace has loaded in some fake products. So we're going to go through and you can see and delete these products. We can do that by just selecting one here, going down to the bottom and selecting all, and then deleting them because we don't need these. We're going to be adding our own. Here we go. If Squarespace wants to work for us, come on, baby. If I just do this, here we go. They're deleting now. So now you'll see our store is going to be blank. So the first thing we want to do is start by adding a product. So let's add a product. And here we can select what type of product is we're going to sell. In my case, I'm going to be looking at selling a physical product. But you can have a digital product, you can schedule a service, or you can even sell gift cards. Let's select a physical product. So. The first thing we'll do is give it a name. Let's call it hat holder in my case. And then let's add a description. I might be a bit cheeky and I might just copy the description out of the suppliers. And it might be something as simple as taking something like this and adding that into there. Next, we want to add our images in. In my case, I have a whole folder full of them here. So I might just select this one to add for the time being. So let that upload. Now, we can add a price. It might be $39.95. And if we want to make it be on sale, we can add that as an option here as well and select the sale price of $25.95, for example. We can have an unlimited quantity if we want, or we can have quantity that we select. So say for example, you order 100 products, we can add that in here, and then Squarespace won't sell more than 100 products. If you have variations, you can also add those in here. So if you get different colors, or if you have different sizes, you can add all those in here. In my case, I don't, so I can just cancel out of that. Now, we can adjust the shipping here as well. So if you have products which you know are gonna have set sizes, you can add those in here so that when you have automated shipping, they will calculate by themselves, meaning that you don't have to worry about figuring out the shipping costs and Squarespace will do it for you at the back end. Now, you might wanna add a category to your products. If you have a lot of products, you might have t-shirts, hats, whatever the category might be. In this case, we're not gonna add anything because we've only really got one product on this shop. And here we can adjust something like featured product. So if you want to make this stand out on your website, you can add this and you can also choose to have related products. This is really powerful. So you can have very similar products work together on the shop. And down here we have the SEO and marketing area. So here we can adjust what we see on the, on the social media or on the um, Google. So we might adjust the URL to be something a bit nicer. We might call it hat holder and we might give it a better title and call it hat holder for car for example and hit apply and then we'll see that changes up here 
We can even customize our buttons if we want, but for the time being, we'll just leave as they are. So let's go save, save draft, and let's see how this looks. So here we go. I actually might need to publish this, but what I'm gonna do first is, you can see that the shops are visible on the page. So what I'm gonna do is go up to the settings and get rid of enable page. So now the page will still be here for me to see, but no one else will be able to find it. So the next step is I can then publish this hat, or this product to be seen. So if I go save and publish, here we go. You'll be able to see that this product will exist. And here it is. First off, you can see our title is pulling through, our on sale price is pulling through, and you can see we've got quite a nice little layout here. We can go back in and you can see Squarespace offers us two options. One, we can edit the design, or two, we can edit the product again. Just quickly, we're gonna jump back into the product and we're gonna add some additional information. This appears down beneath the product. And in this, you can add all the full dynamic content you want. So you can add buttons, images, whatever you wanna do. In my case, I might just copy and paste some more content in for you to see what it looks like and hit apply. Now let's save this and have a look again. And you can see it's starting to appear down here. Now let's go through and adjust the design. So we have a whole lot of things we can adjust. We can adjust the um, formatting first and foremost. So you can see we have a few options. We've got half, which is going to split the page up evenly and display the images on one side. I don't love that because I think it's a bit much sometimes. You've got full, where you've got the images on the top. I don't love that either. You've got wrap, which I think is a bit funky because it kind of wraps around. Personally, I prefer the simple option where it's nice and easy. It kind of sits nicely. If you have multiple images, they'll sit down on the left-hand side here. We can even adjust the aspect ratio of the photos and how this displays. We can adjust pretty much everything we want in here. You can see we have slideshows running. We can adjust the width of stuff. So we've got a lot of stuff to play with in here. We can even go through and adjust colors using our color scheme. So if we want to make our website a different color or our shop a different color, this is how we do it. In my case, I want to keep it nice and white because it's just simple and easy. I can hit save on that and you can see the shop still hidden. So after this, there's not much else we really need to do on this website. You might want to adjust the SEO for your shop and make sure it's got a proper name. We might want to call it just shop and we can even adjust the URL by going in here and adjusting this. I'm going to hit save and you're getting there quite good to go. You can see this is how it's appearing on desktop. You want to check it out on mobile as well because a lot of your customers are going to be on there. And you can see this is how it looks with a simple layout. I really like it. Image at the top, immediately price, and then the option of add to cart and purchase, which is really powerful. And then underneath we have all the extra details. I hope this video helped you guys with building your Squarespace website. If it did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be posting some more Squarespace content as I go through and build out my website as well. Have a good day guys. See you next time. Ciao, ciao.